The Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens. Now I've had this for three years and today I want to talk about it. Coming up. Coming up, what's all that about? Before we get into my review of the lens, I'd just like to talk about the care of the lens a little bit. And have you noticed I've got neoprene covers. Now these are about 18 pounds and they just slip on individually as well. When carrying the camera, try and carry it by the foot. Don't carry it like I see a lot of photographers do by the camera itself. It's just a little connection that's keeping it together, isn't it? And use the strap attached to the lens itself, not to the camera. There's a lot of weight in that lens. I like to keep the lens hood attached at all times because there's the lens. Lens hood on, stop scratches. With this lens on my wildlife camera, I try not to change it too much. But if I've got to take the lens off, I'll turn it upside down and I'll take it off like that and that way dust doesn't get in the sensor. When you extend the lens, it's a twist in motion. It's in and out like that, it's a twist in one. If you get dust or drops of rain on here, I'd suggest trying to dry them off before you actually bring the lens back in again. Because that goes inside the lens itself and it's trying to avoid any kind of ingress into the main body of the lens. God, don't I sound posh in the main ingress of the lens, the dust. The Sigma 150-600C. Now, is it worth the £800? Well, to me, hmm, I'll talk about that in a minute. But well, this is quite a fast lens, faster than some people realise. And it also depends on what camera body you've got it attached to. Now, I use a Canon 7D Mark II, and I know people have the Nikon D500, both good wildlife cameras. I do a lot of wildlife photography, and when I do, I take a lot of flying bird photography. And this lens manages to do it for me if I have the settings set correctly, especially for flight photography. It's more than capable of capturing birds in flight, fast birds too. It depends though on your tracking capability. They will be able to follow the bird. Now, a lot of photographers keep both eyes open for this, but I can't do this because especially wearing glasses. <laughs> So I just close my one eye as usual. But it does depend on your tracking capability. But I've got pictures of swallows, I've got pictures of peregrine falcons all in flight, and this lens manages to get them. How fast do you want a bird to go? When I got the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter C, I got myself a Sigma dock. And it allows you to update the firmware in this lens. Now it's latest update, I was able to improve the focus speed by up to 50%. I believe it's 20 to 50%. And that to me was a game changer. You can customize the lens and even customize the two switches on the lens as well. I've customized to my style of photography and I've also done a video on how I did this plus my 7D Mark II and I will put a link to this in the description for you. My, my Canon 7D Mark II has an AA filter, an anti-aliasing filter, which can take away the sharpness. Now it's meant to take away moi in people's portrait photographer, but it's a wildlife camera. <clears throat> so my next step up would be something like a 5,000 pound lens. This is 800 pound, a 600 millimeter lens. Very fast at focusing. It focuses on fast flying birds and you can customize it as well. Now this lens, let me just demonstrate, this lens zooms like this. It's an f5 to 6.3, meaning at 600 millimeters, like that. Its aperture, its minimum aperture is 6.3. So it's not the best on low light conditions and dull days. Getting noisy pictures. With the dawn of AI software, it's becoming a thing of the past. You can get a background blur. It's all about distance from the camera to the subject, from the subject to the background. I mean, it's not an F4 lens. It's not a fast aperture lens. An F4 600 millimeter lens will cost you a lot of money. You could probably buy 10 of these. So 
Like I say, I've had it for about three years, and in my humble opinion, for eight hundred pound, I don't think you can beat it. So you got focus, auto focus, manual override, and manual focus. That's your first switch. The second one is full focus. Zooms the full range, or you can restrict it to ten meters to infinity, which in which means it won't focus in the first ten meters only past that one. If you're taking distant photographs of birds flying around or animals flying around and they're definitely not coming in the first 10 meters, then you don't want to waste that time trying to focus in that area. That's what it means. It limits the focus in. Next one. And then the next one is 2.8 meters, which is its minimum focusing and to 10 meters after that, meaning a will focus between, let's call it three meters, between three and 10 meters. So it's not hunting you know, it's not wasting time. So it makes it that much quicker. And the bottom one is the custom switches, C1 and C2. Now you can customize both of these switches to have three different settings on each, which I think is brilliant. 800 pound, <laughs> keep saying it. So I think you know where we're heading with this review of this lens. Now I'm gonna put a few pictures up for you that I've taken with this. And like I say, in Dull conditions, it can be noisy, but that depends on your camera. In light conditions, not as noisy, but that depends on your camera. It's fast to focus, it's reasonably sharp, not the sharpest. At 600 millimeters, I wouldn't personally photograph at 600 millimeters. I would pull it in as far as possible. You know what I mean? I would, just, I would pull it in just a little bit if I've got a focus round about that range. But don't try and fill your viewfinder with the birds anyway, because you can't, not when they're moving. It's only when they're still really, you might do something like that. Three years. I know that when I take off this neoprene cover and just clean the lens a little bit, it'll look like new. There won't be any dings on it or anything. And that's because I've looked after it. I've taken out insurance when I got the lens brand new, which was, I think it was 150 pounds for three years. It's now around five pound a month. If I damage this lens, if I drop it or I break any part of this lens, it will get replaced for me out of my insurance. And this, for me, I don't think you can beat it. The Sigma 150, it's a 600 millimeter contemporary lens. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget, I run a Facebook group called Northwest Wildlife Watchers and I'll put a link in the description.